Okay, earlier we looked at, uh, uh, we priced an option in a binomial setting, a price to call option in a binomial setting. The uh, stock price today was $100, it'll either be $120 or $90 in time one. So we have a call with a strike price of $110, risk free rate is 5%, so at time one the call is either worth uh, $10 or zero. We put this portfolio together, uh, borrowing uh, $90 at time zero, borrowing $90 at the risk free rate, uh, 5%. Uh, also buying stock, this portfolio cost us 14.29 at time zero. The portfolio is either at time one was worth 30 or, or, or zero dollars, so this portfolio is equivalent to three call options. Hence, uh, each call option is uh, $4.76. So the idea here is uh, we're uh, pricing an option in a binomial setting and we are uh, using a bond and a stock portfolio to replicate a call option. Remember, we can either use a bond and a stock to replicate a call option or we can use a stock and call to replicate a bond, the delta hedging approach. So the question is now, so this is, you know, this, what we'd say is by no arbitrage, that's the price of the call option. So the question is, what if, uh, if the price is different than that? Then we should be able to create an arbitrage uh, which would push the price towards 4.76. So what we'll do right now quickly is uh, arbitrages in the case of the call is not 4.76. So say call today is $5. So we know it should be this, but the call is $5. What do we do? Obviously the call is worth, or is trading in the market, let's say, you know, for more than it is uh, theoretically worth, we can replicate it for $4.76, it's trading in the market for $5. So what that tells us is sell the uh, option and replicate it. So now the only thing to keep in mind is here we can replicate three options. So uh, the portfolio, so what we want to do at time zero, uh, step one, sell three calls. Uh, this is uh, going to give us plus $15, five times three. Uh, second step, uh, we're sold three call options, now we have to, um, it's simple, we follow exactly this. Uh, we uh, borrow $90 at, at, one point, uh, at 5% and uh, buy stop. So step two, uh, borrow. Now 90, 90 divided by 1.05 is 85.71, so this is going to be a cash inflow of 85.71. Step three, uh, buy stock. Uh, this is, of course, minus 100. Uh, net. So our cash flow at time zero, uh, 15, 85, 100, so it's going to be 71 cents. So 0 0.71. So if we do this at time zero, uh, sell the call, um, sell three calls, and replicate those three calls through borrowing $85. Uh, and buying stock, we are going to net um, 71 cents. Uh, now the question is what happens at time uh, one? So net this at, at, so that's our cash flow at time zero. At time one, if we sold these three calls, each call is going to be worth uh, 120 minus 110, uh, so um, $10, so we owe 30. So on the calls, we have a cash outflow of 30. We borrowed 85.71, so we have to pay that back, to pay this, to pay the future value of that back, so we pay back 90. So uh, on the loan, we have minus 90, but we bought the stock. The stock is worth 120, so on the stock, we have plus 120, nets to zero, exactly what we want. Uh, in the, the, the low state, the calls are going to be worth zero. The stock is worth zero, and we owe, I mean, sorry, the, the uh, calls are worth zero, the stock is worth 90, and we're going to owe 90. So this is zero, negative 90, 90, zero. So here's our arbitrage. We trade uh, in such a way that at time uh, uh, zero, we net 71 cents, and at time one, uh, it, no matter what state of the world is, you know, we have no probability of loss, right? Where our cash flow is zero at time one. The, you know, the, again, these are the two states of the world. So no matter what happens, my cash flows are zero. So proper arbitrage. Of course, you can also do this, and this is, you know, of course, uh, would be a nice exam question on, on setting this up, a, a fairly easy exam question. 
And one thing to note on this is, of course you could tell what the arbitrage profit is going to be um, right off the bat, right? You know, this is uh, arbitrage profit 71 cents. If you take this, uh, what is this? Um, uh, 24 cents times three options, so that's 72. Uh, it's, it's 71, 72, which is rounding here. So we know uh, what, um, exactly what our arbitrage profit should be. You know, of course, it's a matter of setting it up correctly, but the idea is we're just making the difference between 4.76 and 5. If it is any different from 4.76, we have an arbitrage. You know, of course, in a real world, adding in transaction costs. Now, we can similarly look at this and say, okay, well, what if uh, the call price is 4? We know uh, it, sh it should be 4.7 cents, but if it's 4, then uh, what we want to do is buy the call in the market uh, at $4 and then sell the, 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 the replicated call. So we just sort we switch this, right? Buy, buy three calls. Of course, we're going to buy three calls for uh, $12, so, but and that's a cash outflow at time one. Uh, we want to lend. Right, so this is going to be also a cash outflow, uh, and we want to short. So this is going to be a cash inflow. This nets to uh, what, two dollars and twenty-nine cents. Nets for two dollars and twenty-nine cents. Of course, this is going to be seventy-six times, uh, roughly seventy-six times three. Then at time one, these are just reversed. Uh, we have bought three calls for $12, so this is a positive cash inflow. We, uh, now we're going to receive our $90, so that's a plus, and we shorted the stock, so that's a minus 120. Here, again, we just have, it's reversed, we're going to uh, receive our 90, and we owe 90 on the shorted stock, so zero. So either way, you know, this is really easy to get right on an exam. Like either way, you know, if it, obviously if it's lower, we want to buy this and then short, sell the replicated call. Um, in the case where it's above it, uh, we want to, to, to short the call and, and buy the replicated portfolio. So ultimately, you know, uh, not, shouldn't be too bad on, on any exam. Good. Excellent. And you can also do an arbitrage by uh, Delta Hedging Method. Uh, maybe I'll do another brief uh, lecture on that.